as you probably know, the, the construction workforce is a is a very uh, challenged industry right now. Uh, we are, you know, the day center business is growing at, you know, some say 12% year over year, 30%. I've, I've heard a lot of different figures thrown around, but the construction labor workforce is not growing mm -hmm. at that rate. In fact, it's only growing about 1% year over year on average over the last wow. five years. So you think about the amount of work that's coming out just in Texas alone, there's 397 gigawatts of generation in queue over the next five years. So the generation works work is going to continue to go crazy. We put 12 gigs on uh, ERCOT just last year. Um, that, that number should ex hockey stick growth we're talking about. And that's on the generation side. On the load side, you got 80 gigawatts roughly in queue. We, we, we've heard rumors that it's about 50 gigs of data centers. You know, we're seeing this, we're seeing the numbers start to creep, but we're not, we don't have the labor force. So we have to go and find opportunities outside the state and in high performing, highly efficient groups of folks that are capable of churning out um, high capacity in, in a short amount of time. Yeah, because that's the other part of the equation too, right? You mentioned that 1% figure and that's just for all construction. That's not including, you know, data center right. people who have that kind of expertise. That's You're not going to have a guy who's built a hotel, correct. contracted out to build a tier three, tier four data center, you know? 